Day after day, chainsaws are relentlessly cutting down the forests of the Congo Basin. Due to massive deforestation, an estimated 20% of greenhouse gases are no longer converted into oxygen and contribute to global warming. But intensive logging is also affecting the lives of the pygmies, who depend on the forest for survival. We Baka love the forest because it is our food pantry and our home. We don't want to destroy it because it provides us with coconuts, game and many other things. Logging companies are destroying the forest, and that is causing serious climate problems. Now, there's too much sun. Deforestation has created lots of problems for our way of life. Congo's forests are being subjected to intense industrial exploitation. Deforestation is increasing 0.5 to 0.6 percent a year. Figures that may appear insignificant, but the consequences for the ecosystems are disastrous. It's not a lot, but that's just what we're seeing today. The accumulated effect over a long period could be catastrophic. We need to be aware of the consequences of our behavior, our agricultural techniques, the exploitation of forests and the fires we start in forest areas. A report by the Congo Basin Forest Partnership in 2006 claims the area of forest earmarked for exploitation has significantly increased to 36% of production forests and 27% of thick rainforests. As a result, the area vital for the survival of forest dwellers is shrinking. The essential elements in the pygmy lifestyle are also being destroyed. Wildlife is moving further away from the villages, and the socio-economic structure built up around life in the forest is increasingly precarious. When I was young, there was thick forest and the canopy was luxuriant. It was cool, now it is hot, and we can't protect ourselves from the heat. We would hunt with nets behind the village. We caught small mammals, porcupines and antelope. The pygmy community earned money, and our life was organized around all that. The forest was good to us, and we gathered a lot of honey. An added problem is deforestation for charcoal, sold as fuel for cooking. An ancestral tradition, but one that nonetheless has an impact on the vegetation. Inhabitants living in and around the forest supplement their meager incomes by providing wood for heating. Another concern is the slash and burn cultivation that further deteriorates the soil and the forest. And finally, the rapid development of road networks in Congo is also eating away at the forest. Deforestation caused by road construction in Congo Brazzaville is steadily progressing. Experts estimate that the Congolese road network increased by 156 kilometers a year between 1976 and 1990, compared to 600 kilometers a year since 2000. While of help to the forestry sector and the country's economy, it does, however, raise questions about the balance between the needs of local inhabitants, the need to develop the nation, and the need to protect the forests in order to limit global warming. It could be part of the answer. African nations are selling their forests to the highest bidders to finance development. One solution could be the sustainable management of forests. Unlike black gold, this green gold can renew itself, as long as it is treated well. <laughs>